We'll look at why Boeing workers voted against union representation next on your Liberty Minute. Hello, I'm Mark Harrison. In 2009, Boeing Aircraft looked around for a location to expand the growing production of its 787 Dreamliner airplane and settled on South Carolina. Most of Boeing's airplanes are assembled in the Seattle, Washington area, and most of Boeing's employees in the Seattle area are members of the International Association of Machinists Union. Divide and Conquer has long been the credo of corporations seeking cheap labor alternatives. So the appeal of moving some of the Dreamliner production to the least unionized state in America, and one that has right-to-work legislation on its books to boot, was too much for Boeing to resist. However, over time, the workers in South Carolina began to question why their counterparts on the West Coast were earning $31 an hour to do the same work that they were doing for only $23 an hour. So they decided to try to unionize. A move the company and local politicians met head-on with a massive television, radio, and billboard advertising campaign designed to convince the underpaid workers that the union wasn't part of the South Carolina family and that it would drive a wedge between them and management. And because union leadership may have been in a hurry to get to a vote before President Trump could realign the NLRB in favor of corporations, the unionization attempt went down in flames as 74% of those eligible to vote cast their ballots against the union. Perhaps an ill-advised union drive. Perhaps a sign of our times. I'm Mark Harrison with your Liberty.